Dr. Lu is a 25th generation descendant of the Quanjian Tao lineage, a distinguished Taoist philosophy teacher, researcher, and global lecturer. As the director of the I Ching Research in Beijing, president of the U.S. Health Qigong Association, U.S. Taoist Association, and founder of the School of Eastern Philosophy and Key Wellness Center in New Jersey, she is a dedicated and devoted leader in the field. I'm very honored to present Dr. Meiji Lu. Given the resource that is exactly available everywhere on the internet, you can pick up a YouTube, you can pick up any classes, training, actually for free, and a lot of things over there. But if you don't have that personal connection through energy, through emotion, through some kind of teaching that can only be obtained by the human interaction. Do you agree with me? Yes. yes. So I said, well, you know what I have prepared. You have this is a fantastic handout because I like the handout that I gave out today. But I said, forget about handout. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go through the handout. But more importantly, so how can I bring that human connection? And you can learn on your own. You are much better. That's one of the things since 2020 that people learn on their own. They're very quick, pick up new things. So what I want to do tonight is involve, if you have that description of the lecture tonight, is involve the three um, uh, communications. I didn't say exactly on the papers, the three communications, but I have been preparing all along this communication. One is communication between you and me. As I convey or share my knowledge, uh, thank you for coming, I recognize some faces. If I recognize, it means that you haven't get that though. Because I recognize you, you were there in 2018 in one of my uh, chief conferences. Um, so, with all years of my teaching and the learning and the researcher, and, uh, I can give you something, perhaps. So that's the communication between you and me tonight. And then the second communication just now, as an outer meditation, I decide I'm going to focus on, which is a communication between you and yourself. And sometimes that communication can be done very easily if you um, know how to meditate, know how to um, get into a, um, a moment of silence and uh, talk to yourself and communicate with your higher self. And of course, it can be done. But perhaps sometimes it's even more uh, excited if it's a teacher guide you through that. So we're going to do that tonight. And that communication involves you talk to your animal spirit, your zodiac. And it's very, it's very cute. And there's a, uh, four people coming in, and so they can hear me, and they can say, welcome, welcome. Uh, and then the third communication is what I prepared um, as I uh, agreed to come here to teach. It's the communication between us. It's the one entity. Everyone here. I mean, everyone, I mean, people, animal, rocks, garden, anything, you name it, right? Everyone here with everyone beyond. You can say the spirit world, you can say the other galaxy, you can say UFO, whatever you want to say, is the things we normally don't get into it that easily. So tonight, focus on a lot of communications between you and your other side, the beautiful side that you actually haven't even spent a lot of time discovering it. Right? So if we can begin by take out the first page of your handout, it says your personal zodiac element. But notice here, I group into five groups. You can check the color too. The red, blue, uh, the, uh, the green, and so on and so forth. I 
don't have time to go through each animal. So I group them together. Luckily, it's a small group. Fire have two animals, water have two animals, and a tiger and a rabbit is belong to wood, a monkey, rooster belong to metal. And there are four animals that belong to the earth realm, and I will explain why they have four, not two, um, when we'll get there. So use your pen and just write your name after that element. Um, this time, if you know your zodiac, just write that zodiac there. Okay, so good. Good, your name, yeah. Well, we have a metal, we have a lot of metal people. Okay, I mean, water people, metal. Whoa, we have a lot of metal. We have a lot of metal people. And metal is also the element of this year. Then, yeah. Mm, I will explain it to that. That's great. Appreciate it. Um, if you, I say I'm a Pisces or I'm a Gemini, you know, you know the Western astrology so well, so you know what that is, and you also can almost visualize what that looks like. Pisces, oh, what is that? And you see water, you see fish, you see intuition, you see craziness, you see imagination, all those stuff, right? But I said, I'm a dog. Okay, forget it. The dog is too common. Um, I say, I'm a rabbit. Or I say, I'm a snake. And uh, do you... Can you, if you are saying your animal sign, do you know what that is? Yeah. All these years, coming to Eastern philosophy, uh, going to some Eastern lectures, they will say, what's your zodiac? Because you're definitely much interested in this area, otherwise you wouldn't be coming here on Saturday night. But what does it mean? Have you ever occurred to you? What does it mean to you? I can tell you what I uh, see. Uh, when people ask me, what's my sign? And nobody knows my, even <laughs> Jennifer was with me for a long time, you know my sign. Because I um, purposely want to have all of them. I want 12 of them. I will behave with thinking and, uh, and the reason and the decision making like exactly 12 of them. I picked up all their strengths. I learned, I learned their good behaviors and I emulate the weaknesses of each animal. So I, that's what I've been learning. So when I see Myself, I see all the fire balanced with the beautiful wood, and then metal, by the way. Metal is something that I want to get this year, so I'll show you how it's happening there. And uh, supported by this grand uh, fantastic <coughs> earth foundation of Mother Earth. So, because that kind of balance can get you anywhere. You're unshakable, you're unbeatable. That's what I wanted to teach you tonight, right? Visualize yourself of 12 animals with one animal, your own animal, in charge, right? And if I'm a monkey, it's a great metal energy, a great organization, a great, um, almost sometimes just the, uh, see things and the make decision and leave it and behind it, let go and not going back. There's a lot of traits like that. They focus on that beautiful trait. We're going to go through this. So that's the first page. Let's go to the second page. If I want to teach you to pick up all the important positive or successful factor and traits of each zodiac animal, you got to understand the relationship. you got to understand what to pick. Right? you got to understand who to pick to, as a friend to begin with, and you have that base, and then you will unite the rest. First one is the animal friends. The, on the left side, as you can see, um, this this is a, for Chinese astrologer, for anybody who's been Yi Bagua and for Pullers, they recite this like uh, in the stream as, as well. They recite. This is something, if you want to remember anything at all about astrology, remember this chart, right? Because those two friends are actually um, com combined together because they're not just a, an, an animal kingdom, they are uh, friends with each other in an element world and they are bonded almost like they were born to support each other. Then, if you expand that, you actually have three animals. For example, if I'm a goat, I'm a great 
friend with a horse. But if I'm a goat, you find where you where you are here, right? You're right here. So I'm also friend with a rabbit, friend with a pig. If I'm a pig, I know I go greatly with my friend with tiger. But also, I go and find who is friend with tiger. Tiger is friend with a horse or with a dog. Okay, so the horse dog is my friend too. So that's the relationship on this page. So the next page is a. There's always yin yang, the yin side, the lesser side of the animal that must have some conflict. Otherwise, there's a whole thing about the Chinese philosophy uh, uh, about any kind of healing or anything that is in harmony in our world. There's always involved one side <coughs> and the opposite of this side, yin and yang, black and white, up and down, black and white, right? So this astrology, Chinese astrology, based on love on that principle of yin and yang, also on the principle of the element. So this is where, um, this is in my uh, calendar. How many people have my calendar? Raise your hand. Oh, you, you, what's your name? Lois. Lois, so you bought the, uh, yeah. A lot of them. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so we have the calendar here. In my calendar, and those are pages that form my calendar. And my calendar is actually, uh, I intend to have them as a textbook. Each year I add more material. Each year I add more material uh, around the, the, the wisdom of the East, the wisdom of Tao, the wisdom of uh, I Ching. So in the calendar entry, I list out your power animal group each day. So you can select to do things that way. So if you say the horse and the rat are not getting along together based on the element. The horse is a fire, rat is water. So of course, water and fire doesn't get along, right? So it's based on the five element relationship. If monkey and the tiger, monkey is metal, tiger is wood. The metal is used to shape the wood, to cut down the tree, to prune the plants. Of course, they are not getting along. And but at the same time, if you put somebody in the middle, just you grab anybody in the middle and put them there, and they become harmonious. So that's the techniques that I want um, to know that you're gonna learn uh, gradually, not just uh, all of that today, because there's a lot of knowledge here. Just remember that. Get a calendar and try to remember that. Remember this chart. Remember this. And uh, in China, still today, when they're looking for the marriage, they look for the, they up for the um, zodiac that matches you, or even in the group of the three. And, but if you start in a family, knowing that you're going to start a family, you have more choices because you want to bring in somebody in your family as a children, as a dog, as a pet, that have the, the conflict relationship because sometimes they call it conflict, sometimes they call it controlling, some call, sometimes they call it shaping, right? You have it's going to have so much fire, it's going to get a heart attack. You want somebody who has a lot of water to pamper that fire, right? So you need the opposite. So it's not just the opposite is uh, come up to the conflict is bad. Okay, so let's go to the next page. This is the page um, the people who have um, done my classes, and this is actually the map that I based on almost anything and everything. <laughs> if you understand this map, uh, this is a small portion of the information that I extracted from that map. And the map itself is called Bagua. Bagua is a term in I Ching. How many people have heard of I Ching and doing I Ching? Yeah, you all did. Yeah, yeah. And people even are not doing it, probably you heard of that word. That we call it I Ching or I Ching. So, Focus on south, north, and east, and west. And associated with the season of summer in the south, winter in the north. I mean, Lori, I know this is probably too fundamental for you, and uh, just, uh, uh, just hang out there, and then you'll get some juicy stuff in the next few pages. Um, just focus on those four directions. And people will say, we see, uh, the map, you call this map. Usually map of north is on top, or why the south is on top. 
So this is not a regular map, this is actually a feng shui map, um, a gua map, or this is a Chinese medicine map. This is all the stuff, all your 10 organs are all this out around here. And it's a map that can contain everything. And because it's located in our universe, and the, the Chinese people, about 3,000 to 5,000 years ago, they try to understand how the universe works. And later on, you will hear, me, uh, hear a term of heaven. It has nothing to do with religion. At that time, when the heaven comes out, just look at the sky. And later on, they want to distinguish between the heaven and the sky in this Western world, instead of what we probably choose sky instead of heaven. And at that time, they don't understand and what is beyond what they see, but they know it's powerful. They can get you drowned, right? They can get you flooded. The thunder comes all of a sudden, just hit your front door. Stuff like that. They know it's powerful. And so they describe, say, oh, today heaven is angry. Who have done something mad? Who have done something not appropriate that God heaven angry? And we all have to suffer. So that's, what, that's how the, uh, the story um, goes. So, and then came here, uh, came uh, the feng shui practices. So they said, okay, if I look at the top, that's my heaven. And um, if you look at heaven, if you look up, what do you see? Most of the time, what do you see? Sun, right? Sun. Yeah, sky, the sun. And then, the south north motion power came later, so that's why top is hot, top is the sun, and top is this top. So in feng shui, when you walk in, what actually feng shui? Feng shui is to mimic the harmony and the success, the longevity <coughs> of the universe, of nature, and bring that into our living space. So if we, so we. The, 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 the function map is always going there, the front is always sun. It's always red, always a phoenix or bird, always have a vision, you see. And on your left, which is here, on your left is always the green side. Which, did you hear that dragon on the side? Did you hear tiger on the side? So tiger is here, is the white tiger, right? Is a green tiger, that's because of that year there's a green element to modify the tiger, but tiger here in Feng Shui map is actually on this location. And then here in the back is actually turtle. Right? It's a water. So I would say if sun's there, moon's below. Right? So that's how this map goes. And so all the Chinese um, uh, practices, the healing practices, the principles and the philosophies are based on this kind of orientation. I just want you to know. So for you, just switch it. Or don't even think about a US map or a modern map. Just think about the top is the south. So this is, uh, what I want to explain to you here is, uh, this is the name, the Chinese name of the Bagua in I Ching. This is the center of Taiji, of the universe. And it should be always the perfect harmony is half one and have exactly the other. And uh, the black contain a little white, and the white contain a little black dot here, because it's all completely holy in the center of the universe. Eventually, when eventually, eventually, this can, there's nothing there anymore. There's no color, there's no separation, it's oneness. That's what we always say, oneness. And in here is uh, the second layer here, it's very important, right now you're probably not understanding, it is the symbol trigram of I Ching. They use a line, broken line or a soft line to indicate a condition, a natural element, and stacking together to do um, prediction. Right? So for you, what do you want to remember is this direction, west, east, south, and the north. Later on, when you have time, you can do this, the corner directions. Okay, so now go to the next page. This is also uh, what we focus on today is the zodiac animal on Right now, right? 
Besides the center bagua, the yin yang is the same, everything else changed. It started from the top, or the first one actually is the bottom, the winter is the red, and go next ox, tiger, and going this way. Right? This is their spot. This spot doesn't change. For you to understand your animal influences, remember this. To keep this, that's what I want to give to you, keep this chart. And also, you have the ear there. Now, what direction is this? South. 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 And this? North. So, south is a fire, and north, red, is definitely water. water. And, uh, and the rat is not alone, and the body here, pig, is also water, because it's very close to water. So, because we'll have a five elements, we'll have 12 zodiacs, right? And who is not a fire? Snake. It's very interesting. This is a young fire and an in fire. This is a young water, this is a in water. Right? We don't want to go too much to, to the music tonight. Okay. So, I want you to focus on that. Try to find your, um, your little animal and try to remember where they are. Okay. Again, back to this to remind to remind you, this is the map which I just told you, and this is the zodiac wheel. Okay. Now you identify yourself and then see this. So that's why you remember that map, and this map matches exactly the Bagua map. Now you know the horse, the south direction is very lucky for the horse. And this is where you need to write down on this page of the elements. This is where you can uh, write down. And top, right, is the fire. The green here, east, spring, is the wood. I think. On this side, west, and the winter, north, you can fill that up yourself. I will take a look. Roosters here, and the rabbit is directly to opposite of the rooster. Okay, and go back to here. Right? So this is not just based on the astrology. On this page, the rooster and rabbit, they are enemies. They don't get along. It's not just enemies. We don't like that word, enemy. It's because they are on the, exactly the opposite. They always have attraction or pulling, right? Just like the North Pole and the South Pole. So this way you understand, this is very important for you to understand, and then, let's say, I saw some dog. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Northwest. Northwest. Yeah, Northwest. Do you know Northwest? Who, who said um, I Ching? Who, 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 who said he understand I Ching? Okay, do you know what Northwest stands for? Heaven's energy. Beautiful. You're not just understand a little, you understand quite a lot. Right? This side is a location of heaven powerful energy. Right? That's where dog is at. How many dogs here? Raise your hand. Quite a few, right? Quite a few. So this is Tian. This is the this is very involved, right? That's why uh, later on we'll get better. We'll do more of this kind of um, small cards. Probably I will put it in YouTube one section at a time so you can learn. Right? So this is in heaven. Where is Earth. Where's in I Ching? Where's Earth? Actually, where's there's two animals that the daddy and that the Earth energy, Earth mother. When we're talking about the Earth element, I'm talking about heaven versus Earth. The two powerful elements in I Ching. Can somebody else tell me? Huh? Ox and dragon. Southwest. Oh, I'm talking about direction. Yeah, you, 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 you're right too. But here we're talking about direction southwest. Oh, oh I guess. Yeah, southwest. So, monkey and a goat or ram, 
they are in the mother, the, the in powerful earth energy place. That's why um, Harriet, <laughs> you can never stop mothering. <laughs> and and uh, can never stop that caring, that nursing. Just, 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 just take it, own it, because that's, that's you, whatever. Right? It's in that section. Okay, who is rabbit? Who is rabbit and tiger? I saw a lot of rabbit and tiger today. All right, rabbit and tiger. You are in the east. When you go home, you check what location of your house. The front door is taken east. What room does east resides in your house? Because that's your lucky sector. And so on and so forth. I also remember there's an ox, there's a, um, a snake, there's... Uh, dog just pick. There's a, quite a few, and you see, pick here, half the bodies on the water session, the front is in heaven session, that's why pig is, is taken care of, you know? Yeah, so there's a lot of stories around here. So what I want you to understand here is understand your element <clears throat> and understand where direction that's uh, lucky for you. All right, where direction lucky for you. And horse is a fire, snake is a fire, but see, remember I said that snake is in fire. So that's not quite in that July yet, right? It's right in the end of May and probably June and towards July. It's not that hot yet, right? Okay. So one more thing I want to mention is the earth, how they separate. Right? Two elements and separate with the earth. And two elements separate with the earth. Because it's the energy movement. The earth needs to be there to <coughs> tune down, to hold, to stabilize those energy. Now, we're going to go to the next one. So, I want you to write down um, this, uh, I'll do a little bit of uh, uh, meditation. This is the communication between you and yourself. Um, you already know who you are. I couldn't uh, name everybody's though yet. Uh, we'll have to um, rest it, respect the time. But I want you to look at that element. That element was what you're born with. That element is actually, if you understand or, 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 or welcome the spiritual saying, if you actually chose Right? To be here. You chose to be here. You chose to be born in as an earth element. You chose to be here as a water element. That's your birth element. But you are not just that now. I promise you because of your parents, your siblings, your job, your partners, and your sufferings, and all the stuff that you have gone through. So, what I want to do is to guide you just a few minutes, four minutes, with some of the music to feel. When I say talk to yourself, just feel what you are now, or what more element do you have. So, it seems that you are not quite, a, a lot of you are, are, are a low energy because it is a, in the evening. Let's, let's hold off the, the meditation. Just go through, I'm going to go through to, to help you a little bit of what each element is. Okay? Let's do that. Let's go. Okay, let's get up. Next one, I will show you the wood element. What is the wood element? The wood element is falling. This one, the color is green. Season spring, just now with major spring, directions east. So all those three that you understand. Those are very involved material. You already did. Some people, a lot of people were really nodding, they got it. But the underlying here is what I really want to pay attention. That's where you meditate later on with you. What is the growing energy in you? Okay, that's the nature of the true nature of the wood element. If a wood element is in you, you will experience the growing, the expanding. That's right? so the great strength of the wood element is, see that? Growth expansion, learning, 
symbolizing is advancement, progress, good energy also can be broadening one's knowledge, always try to learn, always want to get, always curious, and adaptability. They actually quite good if you have the right amount of wood energy, they adapt changes very easily. And ingenuity. Right? It's all good stuff. I really like this creative and you know take the mindset because that's what we do. You know, that's how people can um, combine one branch of peach with another branch of apple and then come up with something else. The wood energy allow that to happen. Okay, but of course there's weaknesses. The weaknesses, as you can see, is wood. Sometimes it's too hard, it's difficult to bend, inflexibility. All right, so I want to say something here. Um, in my formal lectures about the five elements of theory, I'm, this is now, this is a, it's one semester course. This is now, okay, what would happen if you have too much wood? What would happen if you have very little wood or no wood? But for tonight, it's too much involved. So I'll just say, if any element in your life, in your body, in your surrounding is imbalanced, that would happen. That would happen. Okay? So that's a wood element. Remember, do not turn away if you are not a rabbit and you're not tiger. Trust me, in your in your eight characters of your astrology, you definitely will have wood. Okay, and you need the wood to succeed, to succeed, right? Next one is a fire. Red, summer, south, and the nature of the fire elements is ascending, is going up, again going up. So anything going up satisfies fire element character. But it has also satisfied the temperature has to be hot. Has also satisfied the expense that can move around. And so that's the character. And then the great strength of fire element. You all have to have it. And you all have passion. And uh, especially the element of fire link to artistry and inspiration. Artistry, everybody, I can feel. When I was going around, everybody have that, and everybody is have a lot of inspiration, leadership. So before I put out the weaknesses, I want to hear from someone. What would happen, either more or less, if a fire elements that is in balance? What would happen as a person or as anything? What would happen? Of some fire elements, either too much or too little. Anger. Anger! Temper! Very good. Who said that? Very good. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so go ahead. Like impulsiveness, restlessness. Okay. And uh, they cannot focus either because it's going all over the places. All over the places. Okay? Next one is metal. Now, the metal energy movement, the direction changed. Contracting, consolidating is actually collective. Metal energy is <coughs> very collective. Bring up, yeah. And uh, make them smaller, make them tight. And uh, that's like a liquid that makes the metal, right? Yeah, you want to do that. And you, we need to do that. Today's age, we need this so much. Which I will say at the very end, metal energy this year is, uh, if it's the number one energy I want you to get, go and get the metal energy. We have good metal energy, we can also fight the bad metal energy, also war, weapon, you know, and all the angry people on the street. Right? There's all a lot of metal. <coughs> and we have good metal to console them, to inspire them, to harmonize them, so the world is better in place. Okay, next one. You see that? We need this discipline. We need efficiency. This year, 2024, my slogan from day one, January 1st, 2024, efficiency. If I can do this in two minutes, I'm not going to do this in 10 minutes. And what about, let me ask you this. What about if you 
have something that you can finish in two minutes with great efforts, with great inspiration and uh, energiousness. And normally you will finish with 10 minutes, but you run into problems. You cannot finish in two minutes. But two minutes is the goal because efficiency is number one. What do you do? What do you do? You better answer this right. What do you do? You cannot finish this thing in two minutes. Normally you'll finish with 10 minutes. But if I say the goal is efficiency, what do you do? Mental energy. Bring mental energy here. What do you do? I want to hear from someone. Consolidate. Consolidate, yeah. yeah make consolidate. Focus. Make more for consolidate. How? Focus. Um, how? Focus. I want to help you for this. This is for this year. We're going to do how. You have this much this task. How? I'm going to finish this in two minutes, but I cannot finish in two minutes. What are we going to do? Discipline structure. Discipline structure, we all need it. And what else? Financial. Your old mother. I'm sorry. Your old good earth energy here. Okay. Cut. Cut it! <laughs> yes, cut it. We're not finishing what I plan to finish. Those work need 10 minutes. I can only do this much. Leave the rest. I would rather leave the rest and focus and do it well at this interval and learn and be efficient and then pick up that one. And if I know how to do this efficiently, two minutes, right? There's eight minutes. What happened? I don't need eight minutes because I learned from how I do two minutes, I do that in one minute, right? So that's this year because this year is crazy. This year has three energy. Dragon is earth. Dragon was modified, I don't know if you know that, by wood, right? So wood dragon, this is wood dragon. And then dragon is a little bit of, of fighting the wood. Why? Because the wood is always taking the earth energy away, right? They control each other. But on top of that, it is a fire energy. I don't know you you know about this. Feng Shui, this year, 2024, marks the first year of what element? Fire. Fire element lasting for 20 years. Um, yeah, we just ended the 20 years of Earth element. All the real estate and everything else is going crazy. Now it's slow down. And this year, fire, one of the fire elements is a characteristic is uh, artificial intelligence and um, uh, all updating uh, the technology and um, uh, creativity, artistry, and healing, talking about healing, and also um, a lot of uh, metals around, a lot of uh, angers around. So next one, we want to see the weaknesses of the metal energy. I said, oh, wait, but it's also good, good, good. No, no, it's all quite good. When metal energy is in balance, Controlling, over controlling. If something comes to uncertainty, who deal with uncertainty very well? What energy will deal uncertainty very well? Somebody who's flexible, right? Somebody who's resourceful. I do not have to answer me. Somebody means what energy? The energy is flexible. The energy is very resourceful. They don't care about uncertainty. You come this way, go that way. You come this way, I go this way. I cannot go, I find another way. Just like 10 minutes and two minutes. But not for metal. Metal have mindset, this is it, and this is it, and uh, I repeat again, you will come to repeat, you're stuck in the same place, that's a stubbornness, that's really not willing to change. Okay, next one, beautiful water element. Okay, pig and rat are beautiful water elements, and we also need, we need, we need metal, we need wood a lot, we need water a lot this year. And because we'll have the fire all over the places. Look at that. Right? I love the water so beautiful with the height and the intuition, <laughs> imagination and the visionary. So as we are, as we are, the water elements are so important. Here also I want to add the healing. The healing to ourselves, the healing to others. It's very important. The water energy. The water energy is the energy that I have uh, uh, actively seeking, obtaining, and uh, and taking and house it myself all my life. And because in my parts, in my eight characters, month, uh, year, month, date, 
And at the possible time, I don't remember the time. My mom couldn't remember the time. My mom, my mom said, well, okay, since you're so good with those things, I give you four times to choose. Four, four zones to choose, right? To see whether you match. And, and uh, of course, it looks at the characters and I know which zone it is, but I don't want to admit. I said, well, I don't know. So you're going to try harder. Think about what zone. And then she narrowed down to two. And out of the two, and the one that I think that belongs to me is there. So very interesting. Astrology you play is very, very beautiful, right? But out that the eight characters, year, month, day, time, Neijing got no water. I don't have the first layer of water. I'm, I'm not water. There's a second layer. You, you understand, right? There's a hidden layer. Hidden layer, second layer, and there's a lot of water. There, there's some water. So I didn't have water. When I was born, I didn't, was not given water. I thought I would be dried to death. I thought I would be grown up like a little stick. Or I get so much water from so many positive people and places, and I become this nice energy because I got, if I don't have water, I must have something more than ordinary people. And you can tell, right? I have a lot of fire, a lot of wood. Study, researching is a lot of wood energy. So, how I'm gonna get wood? Uh, how I'm gonna get water? This is the time to teach you a little bit how to get. <laughs> don't want to it. Of course, being in the water environment and uh, select. Okay, I would say drink water and, uh, and drink soup. That's why I like soup so much. I will add a little on soup, and uh, I, I train that way. And also, and marry someone who has a lot of water, right? But I'm not gonna. When I was dating David, I didn't ask, oh, what's your element? What are you born? What are you? I cannot do that, right? How would I do it? I feel it. I just know he has water. Have such a nurturing water. And then we we'll decide which year we're going to have our son. Oh, it's a very balanced energy. But that's not enough. I got enough water from those. It, it, it's a beautiful water. I got some more powerful water. God, for my profession, a teacher. A lecturer. That position is a great water business. I've been teaching God knows 30 years, 40 years. So that helped me to learn, to gather, to understand me, to understand the people I teach, to understand what my place in this universe is beautiful. It's just beautiful. So one more element. Okay, okay. Let's just see, let's see the water um, the imbalance. Of water. What we do? You see, it's very interesting. Water is emotion, but you have so little water, you actually have problem to express that emotion. It's very interesting, and then you are very much scattered. You cannot uh, get uh, things, you know, organized things in some way. So one more element left. That's earth. Earth energy is stable. It's the balance. Of the they, bat, they go there automatically balance the things that are not balanced. When we're doing Qigong, you know, I'm mean, sorry mothers, we, okay, we rouse our chi and we connect with heaven. We bring heaven's nurturing chi to our body and then we re release everything we don't want to the earth. Everything you want will go to the earth. Why? Because Earth can balance it. Earth and then turn to bring that energy up again and combine with heaven and breathe in and come for and then bring down and release that worry to Earth. And then later on, I always add that at the very end of my practice is nurturing the Earth. Bring myself and go to the Earth and bring myself together with Earth and give love to Earth. And you all do that. So I want to say this as an actor because everybody who I came to, oh, I feel earth energy. I feel earth energy. <laughs> I even feel earth energy in you. Today you're wearing water. It's all black. It's all water and boots and water and the metal. And but you cannot disguise your beautiful earth energy. And that's how beautiful it is, right? You are. Oh, she is earth energy. So that's <laughs> okay. Let's. Uh, the strength, nurturing, 
respect, loyalty, consistency, resourcefulness. That's why I said just now, as a question, right? Who can deal with uncertainty? Earth. You go to Earth Mother. You go look at the Earth. You grab a, 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 a handful of dirt. Says, "What should I do?" Trust me, you have a solution. Okay, weaknesses. Oh, did you recognize that? That's all of you. Just unconditional love. Give, 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 give. And uh, never ask for return. And if people say, oh, you should ask for return. Oh, no, 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 maybe I own this person lots of like, times. And uh, no, no, you should, you should not do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Since I have it, and she does it. That's earth. That's the typical earth. No boundaries. Right? And worry about it. not only your children, but worry about your neighbor, worry about your nephew and your nephew's husband. Okay, okay everybody. All right? So that's earth. So you should know that. I emphasize on this because I want you to receive this uh, that earth, extra earth energy. you be light. Okay? So now, we're going to stop here. I was going to go into the afterwards, after our formula of meditation, but I think this brightens a little bit, right? So you know which energy is which. And then, you say, okay, uh, I was born as a wood rabbit, a wood tiger, a metal rooster. Let that go. Let it go. Just feel yourself now what energy you have. You are more of what kind of energy. This is where you honestly not humbly. A lot of people humbly say, okay, I'm probably not this, I'm not worth this. No, I want you to be honest and access all this beautiful trait, positive trait. Um, you have it. Just identify that. I want to hear from you, of course. I don't want to hear your natural birth element. I want to hear what you feel now. Like I don't have water before, but now I do have a lot of water. Okay. Let's just sit in a, a nice uh, meditation position, and we are do better than um, than what the yeah we did before. All okay? right. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna guide you. We could dim the light a little bit, and it's your turn. Okay, I can I can go. Oh, okay. Yeah, dim the light a bit. Okay. Just uh, what you do is I am going to guide you with a piece of music only four minutes. That music is from nature. That music has all those elements. And that music is supposed to take you out of your spot right now and go some places. And just feel, what do you have? What do you know? Just, I want you to really praise yourself. What the strength of other elements you have acquired. Since you are right, so make sure to close your eyes. Take a breath. Take a breath and do a little bit of uh, Chinese Qigong thing. Take a breath and mm, deep breath, deep breath, go, 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 go to the top of your head. And do it again. Put your right hand on your tummy. And do that one, make sure your tummy uh, sink a little bit when you breathe in. Okay, press it, breathe in. So air is going up, going up, oh, stop, one, two, three, remove. Okay, so remove your hand just a little bit lower, yeah, not leave the butt belly, just a little bit lower, and press the other hand on top of this hand, all right, two hands press down, have a deep breath from your dantian, and allow that breath going up, let's go. Breathing in, going up, the breath going up, the chi going up, the throat area, your head area, and on the top, your crown. One, no breathing, two, no breathing, three, no breathing, four, no breathing, five, go. You put your hand, place your hand anywhere that's comfortable. And make sure the whole body is comfortable. And then allow 
this little flute take you to some place that you feel good. Journey with this little girl, little boy, and identify your beautiful element since your birth. focus on the things that happen that's not so good. Use the time to focus on the things that's good. Focus on the things that go to happiness. You won't be here today. You won't be here today. What are those elements? <laughs> 